Hello ducklings, my name is Sunnies and I thought it was time to do something new. I'm gonna try a challenge that the Rebel Jackson did, but first we'll take the intro and see you soon. Dark rings. My name is Sunnis and I'm from Sweden and I thought it was time for the little challenge and this is from one of the YouTubers that is called Rebel Yexa. She is from Oklahoma in the US and she did this uh, Rebels pin-up challenge and that's no matter if you are a pin-up or not. She's into this uh, vintage pin-up style and she do it awesome. She have won some title with it too and she is such a creative person. And she do a lot of different things on her channel, she do uh, hauls, she do get ready with me, spooky things, Halloween stuff, all the type of things uh, when it comes to uh, finding uh, vintage type of things that suit for her vintage pinup style. You can follow her friends and her on different type of competition and she have actually won some. She have a, a, like what she called a toy driver thing to an Amazon. And that is for children and for the pics so you know what it's all about i think i'm gonna try to put all the links down in my description box too so you can google the better too where they actually give uh, toys to children at hospital and i think it's a nice thing she's also a mom of two boys and they are autistic if i don't remember totally wrong and um that means you have a lot to do with them too and it's a really funny event to watch uh, when it comes to like uh, Christmas and they're gonna do this Christmas baking with gin gingerbreads and everything it is hilarious and I love to watch them because if I have a bad day they are really bright in my day so I can recommend to check those out too because she have a heart of gold and even if I'm not a gold person you know what I mean about that expression too so she's a really great person and she recently did this video, I'm gonna link that too, so you can try it yourself. And this was not just to go all the way into like a pinup style if you don't have to fix it. It's not meant that you're gonna buy anything, you're gonna use what you have or do it a little more like a pinup type of style, inspira inspired at least, and put this tag with Rebels pinup challenge with it and actually try that at least for a day to see how it is and she also told uh, about how cruel people were, was in the store when she started to go on those pin-up uh, competitions too because she's a plus size and uh, the people were so rude I don't understand why everyone have to look just the same because we are shaped different we have different things behind why we look what we do even if you struggle with some things and that type of thing. So I think it's wrong when people do that like that. But I thought, okay, I know Rebel have done a video with an inspired makeup look that I have done when I was into one of my goth looks. And she did a perfect one. And yeah, I thought, okay, Rebel. I have already planned this before her video too. I have mentioned that in the live too, that I have something in my mind. So I thought this came very suitable now so even if gone some weeks when this video is going up so i already have that in mind but i thought okay now it's time to do it so i actually tried to put things together it's still gonna be me it's still gonna be a little more goffy but i'm gonna tune down the goffy part of it and do a little more pinup type of style at least i'm gonna try so that means i'm not gonna put out that type of strong goth makeup i'm gonna tone it down but use some of the things I, I still use for making my ordinary looks without the extra extreme things. So it can still go under that thing that is a little more like a rockabilly or something, that type of style, or maybe even still keep yourself in a classic uh, 50s and 60s type of uh, 
pinup style too and like her i adore betty page i also adore the davantees and that type of things i think they are very classy and they have this type of pinup still pinup style i really love but i'm not gonna talk during my makeup i'm gonna probably put music over it and do it in like a faster thing too so you can see what i'm doing and when i'm coming back it will be with clothes and i'm gonna try to style my hair i'm not 100% of my hair gonna be because I don't have that type of skills when it comes to do those pin-up type of still style but I'm gonna do something that is me and maybe put some accessories so maybe go with a more that type of style too but I hope Rebel gonna like it and I hope you all gonna like it too it's a little different to the ordinary looks I'm gonna do but it still will be me it's gonna be like my my inner goth meet the pin-up style if you know what I mean. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this and don't forget to go and check Rebel's channel too. She's an awesome person. So let's start.
and I'm gonna continue my look. I'm gonna put on some false eyelashes because I think I need it because my eyelashes is not that visible. And I'm gonna fix my hair and I'm gonna put on clothes. And when I come back next time, you will see something else. So see you soon. So darlings, here I'm back, and this is my gothic pinup style. I put this hair piece in my hair on my hair, and I had hair falls. I used big chunky plastic earrings like Rebel usually do, but maybe not this type of style. I took over the short necklace because I don't have any chunk in that type of thing. And I took on my ordinary pearls I have done myself because I don't have that type of plastic ones either. Till that I have a thrifted top with a singular type of style that I thought it's excellent. It suits at least closer to the rockabilly type of thing, but even ordinary pinups because I don't have anything better. I don't have any great uh, belt either, so I used one of my PVC belts from Shein. Till that, I have a skirt that I actually made myself and it's very old, it's over 20 years old. And it's have this little skull in the front and I do adore it. It's with black lace trim on it too. And under that I have two different till skirts too to get a little more of the width that I know that uh, those the vintage uh, pinups like. And I have black stockings to it. And on my feet I have some old shoes too. That is the closest I can get to the pinup style. So Rebel, did you like my pinup look? Maybe not that pinup be like yours, but I tried my best. And I was hoping that I should have a little better clothes for it, but this is at least my try to be a pinup for a day. And I think I look a little cute. And if you want to take a look at my makeup too. So I know I said I should calm down, but it's not that easy sometimes. It went a little more than I usual, but I didn't do this extreme wing, but I still have those gorgeous red lips. And unfortunately, red eyeshadow don't look red on me. For some reason, it always shows up more pink. I think it's because I'm so pale from start, so it don't show up. But this was my result for Rebels Pinup Challenge. And yeah, did you think I nailed it or did I not? Yes or no? Write what you think in the comment field. And don't forget to go and check Rebels channel and the video about her challenge too. And of course you can do this challenge too, just use the hashtag Rebels Pinup Challenge. And for new subscribers, Thank you for subscribing. For people that haven't done it yet, please consider to subscribe and press the notification bell at the same time. And for my all darklings and subscribers, love you all. Thanks for watching. Your support means so much for me. And give me likes and comment. That's the most important thing, comment. I do love to read the comments, but please don't be rude. If you don't like anything, just pause. You don't have to look and you don't have to comment if you don't gonna say something nice. Else, stay safe, stay weird and be nice to each other. Thanks for watching. Bye. Love you all.